I'm Neva. I'm Big Spoon. And we're Can't Stop, Won't Stop. We take the flyest beats, we put them in our car, and we ride around until we have verses that sound okay. And then we wait until our producer comes into town and we record them in a bathroom. And then kick them to y'all with plenty of hustle on it. <laughs> what he said. I make hip hop because it's what I've listened to ever since I was a kid and uh, I grew up uh, doing graffiti and being involved with uh, kind of hip hop culture and it's just the best way that I can express myself and have a whole lot of fun. For the most part it's just fun to come out, get wild and get people to try and leap. One day we were eating lunch at a round lunch table with some friends. David said, we should have a rap group. I thought that was a good idea. I had a rock and roll band. I really wanted to, I wanted to be doing hip hop. And uh, so we got it together and started teaming up with our friend Aaron Hatch, who's a producer, and uh, started making the beats that were coming into my head. And then we just went from there. Started writing and uh, just kind of grew and grew and grew. As far as the phrase can't stop, won't stop, and why we chose that, it just seems uh, like an iconic hip-hop phrase that I've always really liked. Um, one of the first things that Davey and I did together when we were friends is I had a pair of these old man sunglasses that we both kind of rock all the time. And I wanted them to look a little fresher than this, so we painted them up white, and then on the sides it said can't stop, won't stop. So then later, when, uh, when we were starting to form the hip-hop group and messing around with different names, I said, why don't we just call it that? Because that's something we, we can both get behind. I said, yeah. I feel like the people that do it are super loyal to it, and there's something that's really, really refreshing and cool about that. Um, I feel like there's uh, a lot of people that I'm seeing start to come out of the woodwork. Uh, Sid, obviously, has been on this show. Um, he's kind of chief among them in my mind and we're gonna do a track with him pretty soon. I've been, you know, I've been to hip-hop shows all over the West Coast and to be honest I've been to some hip-hop shows here put on by, uh, put on by local artists that really, uh, you know, really, really rival those shows or are up on the same kind of par. Um, so I think there is good hip-hop here and it does take some real dedication or, or loyalty to to the to the form to be able to produce hip hop music in a in a place such as Utah. Hi, I'm Neva. I'm Big Spoon. We're Can't Stop, Won't Stop, and you're watching Urban Media. Cool, cool, son, uh, uh. Yo, in the summertime, 
I'm heat when the pulse is back. You get to bumping the beat, hear me attacking the track. I lack nothing at all, got the baddest gear. Swooping in the cruiser, bringing up the rear. I keep it current, keep it coming. Cor When we first started uh, out, we used to talk pretty constantly, I feel like, about the Wu-Tang Clan and Aesop Rock. I don't know, we've, we've gotten comparisons along the way to uh, J5 and um, Public Enemy, I feel like. Is that it? Yeah, Public Enemy, Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys I mean, obviously is Obviously, we draw that one. And I like them. What can I do about that? Yeah. Uh, I feel as far as uh, straight up rhyming styles and flows, uh, probably pretty heavily influenced by Jay-Z, uh, certainly Eminem, yeah. and then, uh, then it goes from there to a whole lot more hip-hop. Uh, like I grew up going to shows when I was 13 or 14 to see Hieroglyphics, Bell Funky Homo Sapien, uh, kind of West Coast hip-hop, especially from the Bay Area that really influenced uh, the early rhymes that I started writing back in the high school. My name is Nevo, any to the VO. I used to push wood back in Reno, scrap with other packs outside of casinos. CPT in the WGFK. Hey. Okay, Krylon bombs on freeways, double seven five down to the bay. My homie mage told me to finish your pieces, bullet through the sleeve. But my mom grieved, and I'm like, okay, enough. I ain't into this violence. Few bouts, and I was through like one, two. Renounce war, proclaim peace. How about you? Use that rat sat to bury it. The ore brush thing, um, I am actually roommates at the moment with the ore brush guy, and so. Um, you know, I was looking at that and I'm always just trying to figure out ways to, to promote us and get our name out there more and more. And all of a sudden one day it just sort of occurred to me like, you know what, I bet Davey and I could write a rap about fresh breath. I contacted the CEO, I said, hey, would that be cool? And he said, yeah, sure, give it a shot. So I sent him a webcam video of my verse and he emailed me back and was just ecstatic about it. So. Um, we threw the video together and so far so good. It's gotten us a lot more fans, quite a bit more exposure, getting subscribers and all sorts of things. So I think it's been a net good. If the name of our group means anything, <laughs> yeah. we're just, we're just going to keep going until someone buries us alive. Shout out to RJ Brill. Um, shout out to Eyes Lips Eyes, um, the Provo Hip Hop community, EDP, DJ Kidwid, Prince Early, um, Sid, DJ Don Ricky, some of my favorite folks around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to certainly wife and family for all the support. It goes without saying. Yeah. And to everybody that that keeps it cool, you know they say real recognize real, and uh, I try and keep my eye out for people people that I like and would want to work with and want to just be like stylistically. So if you keep it cool, shout out to you. B money, big influence. Big influence. Love that guy. Supporter, right? yeah. We like you, B money. <laughs>